Hello my friends, today I'm going to show you how to create a watermark and what to look out for if you do so. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer from Vienna, Austria and let's get started. So you have your masterpiece, you want to load it online and you want to have a watermark for it. There are certain things you should look out for. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new canvas. I'm creating it in 1080p but you can create any size you want. There we go. And the important thing is to set the document to transparent background. So you have this checker box here. The next thing I'm going to do is to have a rectangle over all of the background and setting it to a dark gray like this. So you can see what I'm doing. And also if you create it, that you can see what you're doing. The next thing is we want to create our watermark. And for that, I would suggest a simple text, nothing too fancy because people should be able to read what you want to tell them. But of course you can do it in any way you want. The thing that I would look out for is for example to write copyright and then the number of the year. So copyright 2019 and somewhere where they can contact you. So this is me at test.com which is just a fictional email address this is not my email address um, but just so you know what to put in there because if you put a watermark and nobody wants or what nobody understands how to contact you it doesn't really have that much purpose um, the next thing we're gonna do is set the fill color to white so we have a nice white text and we're gonna make it a little bit smaller and um, I will put this here on the left side then hold my control key and create several copies. The spacing doesn't matter too much. There we go. So, okay, now we have a lot of those. And the next thing that we're gonna do is we click on the upper um, layer and then hold shift and click on the lower layer. So we select all of them, which did not work. Let's do this again. There, it did work now. And now we're gonna click up here to arrange and then we're gonna align it vertically center or in the middle like this and then you click here on space horizontally which will space them evenly out click on ok and now we have all of them spaced out i will hit ctrl g on my keyboard to group them and i can move them around a little bit and the next thing i'm going to do is take my crop tool and just cut the lower part and the upper part there we go and hit apply so we have this stripe here and the important thing now is when you export this file export you want to hit pdf print for print pdf for print that's important because this will conserve the text and also the font export this write it here watermark save okay Let's go back to our other picture here. And now we go to file and place. Oh, by the way, I did it wrong. One second, I have to go back. I forgot one thing that's important. We want to hide the rectangle so the background is transparent. Let's do this again. Export a PDF, print ready. There we go. We save it on the same thing. Yes. Then we go over here and import it. Uh, with place there we go select our watermark pdf place it here and now comes the magic look if i resize this no matter how big i resize it because it's still font it's not pixel the text will always be sharp this is really important because now we can use it for any picture size resolution whatever we want and because we have multiple of those it's just a stripe uh, we can put it over all of the picture. Of course, you can use more or viewer of those. Uh, that really depends. Or you can use just one if you want to. But uh, what I would look out for is if you have just one and it's down here in the corner like a lot of people do, um, the person who is seeing this and still wants to use the picture just goes to crop and does like this and then your copyright is gone. So maybe this is not the best way to make your picture safe. If you want to have your picture really safe or set it to a customer uh, where you're not sure they're going to pay you for the picture, you can have a stripe over all of the picture like this 
and then reduce the opacity so it's barely visible so you can still enjoy the picture without too much interference but you can see that the copyright is actually in here and because it's multiple times over all of the picture it's a lot of work to uh, remove this watermark now so this is a very simple and safe way to do it maybe don't go too crazy of course you can now go and uh, multiply this and have multiple of these lines over all of your picture but this might be come off the wrong way so uh, don't go overboard just put it all over the middle of your picture and that should be safe enough uh, for your work and if people find the picture online they can see it's copyrighted they can see where to contact you there's your email in there so make sure that this is an email address that you will have for a longer time so if you know you will drop this email address maybe in half a year might not be as useful so use something uh, where people even years later can reach you and find you um yeah and so this is basically the way how to create a watermark for your picture you can see you can move it any way you want um if you want to have some more fancy stuff in your watermark some people they use their own signature or stuff like that or another design uh, maybe try to get it into vector so you have the ability to resize it or put it in a high resolution into your picture and um, I really like the solution with the transparent background and the PDF you could also go with a PNG for example which will also give you a transparent background only of, of course if the background here is transparent the problem here is the PNG has a fixed size and does not include the font or the text it's just a pixel picture so if you make it bigger than the resolution you exported it with um, it will look wrong it will look uh, pixelated and you might not even be able to read it anymore um, another thing that I would look out for is um, save it as a PDF but then also save it as a normal file uh, for your Affinity Photo program because then you can go in later on and change around text or change around the build up so you can take out every second layer for example because there is too much in here uh, so you can change it a little bit or update the copyright year stuff like that um, yeah so that's basically how you create a watermark how you make it uh, suitable for any kind of size and um, yeah how to make it look good and professional and the main use or the main purpose for the watermark is to save the right or tell people about the right uh, for your picture uh, so I think clear information and clear ability to contact you is um, more important in this case because if you want to have something for branding I wouldn't necessarily use a watermark I would use um, a brand icon or a brand logo and put it somewhere in the corner of your picture uh, to give it some kind of branding to show who you are what you do if you even need that okay so that was the tutorial about watermarks how to prepare them and want to what to look out for thank you very much uh, if you like my videos maybe subscribe to my channel i do two tutorials per week and if you want to support me even more head over to patreon where you get my files with all the layers you can get feedback on your work and a lot of other great benefits thank you very much and see you in the next tutorial bye